Hey everybody and welcome to Spiked. I'm here with the legend himself, Saint. Hey guys, what's up? It's Saint. Now you are the former president of Smash Dogs, am I right? Yeah, that's right. Um, a couple of, or actually a group of friends of mine and I, when I was, I believe, a sophomore in college. No, a junior. No, I was a sophomore, yeah. Uh, we decided that we liked Smash a lot and realized there wasn't a dedicated competitive scene in the area, uh, so we decided to create one, and we formed a student club called Smash Dogs at MSU. And I served as the president of Smash Dogs for about three years before graduating and moving on. Nice. We'll go ahead and get on our first match. And oh my gosh, got a Bowser. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I used at the <laughs> tournament. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Now, as this is loading up, what is your earliest or first memory with Smash, any of the games that you can remember? Any of the games. Okay, so my very, I guess I'll just start from the beginning. My very first experience with Smash was Smash 64, and I played at one of my friend's house, and I was just taken aback by the fact that I could play and fight as Mario, because at the time I loved Mario games. Um, and so I was just, I, I, I was actually mesmerized by it. It was crazy. The fact that um, you could just play as Mario, basically? Yeah, just the, just the premise of Nintendo characters fighting. I was so I was so excited about it. And I, I, think, I think I played that game at that kid's house um, for probably six hours nonstop because I was just, uh, I was so mesmerized. I thought it was, I thought it was so fun. Oh no! I thought you were dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I think um, after that, I don't think I played Smash 64 again um, until, or didn't play Smash again until Melee came out. So there was this, I don't want to say like gap, but I was like, man, that was really fun and I wish I could play it. Melee was probably my real first experience, mm -hmm. uh, at least owning a Smash game and like being able to practice it uh, in a dedicated sense. Um, I never went to any tournaments with, me with Melee, but... I think that was probably my first real Smash experience, and get ready for this. Who do you think? Who do you think I played in Melee? Who do you think my character was in Melee? Was it Falco? It was not Falco. It was not Falco. Was it Sam? Wait. Oh yeah, it was. It was Samus and Fox. Okay. Samus and Fox. Of course you played Fox. Um, yeah, I mean, even at that young of age, I realized Fox was ridiculously good. And oh my gosh. Yeah, you're not dead. Me. Uh, but. Yeah, Fox was just, he was so much better than everyone. Um, Still is, but I really in think, a weird way. He, he is, and I think I really stuck with Samus because Metroid Prime came out on the GameCube as well, and Metroid Fusion the same day, as a matter of fact. And um, I really became fixated on those two games, so I really started to like Samus a lot. And I think that's why I picked her up. But, yeah, um, and then Brawl came out, really excited for that. Uh, but yeah, my, I would say my first real Smash experience was Melee. But the very first time I ever touched it was definitely 64, and that's that's what got me that's what got me onto it. But competitive Smash now, Smash 4. That was my first. That was my first competitive Smash game. Yeah, that was mine as well. I want to know. I know you said you and some friends. Who started Smash Dogs with you? Overall. So. Uh, who started Smash Dogs with me? Um, or originally, I will take credit for the idea of starting Smash Dogs was my idea. I will take credit for that. But the um, the the friends who made it happen, honestly, and like I couldn't have done it without, were Jenkins, uh, Sash Chan, and I believe a few others that don't that don't play anymore. Yeah, I don't. Uh, those two stick out for sure. Um, oh, you're you're wrong for that. <laughs> you're <still> wrong for that. <laughs> but definitely those, definitely those two. Um, and I'm sorry if I'm forgetting someone. No, you're uh, fine. I'm trying to play. But but I do remember the reason we started it was because the VGC used to run some weekly tournaments. Uh, for those who don't we know, like, what is the VGC? Uh, that is the. Mississippi State Video Games Club and they used to run Smash tournaments all the time and but they didn't really 
I don't know if that was their primary focus, so we were like, oh, what? Oh my gosh, you almost did it to me. Uh, so we decided, oh, let's make a Smash Club, and I guess it worked out. Uh, yeah, those two definitely were like, yeah, this is a good idea. Let's do it. Oh, and uh, Poseidon. Yeah, he was there. Uh, yeah, I mean, really, those are that's that's the beginning of Smash Dogs right there. Just a whole bunch of whole bunch of college students playing playing Smash Four on the projector screen in Griffiths Hall hmm. and trying to beat each other and then finding out that there's actually a competitive scene for this thing. So you started it before you knew there was a competitive scene? Um, mm, yes and no. Uh, we, oh, and Pope. How could I forget Pope? I totally forgot about Pope. Uh, yeah, Pope was, he was actually much more plugged into the competitive Smash scene than I think any of us were. So he was insanely instrumental for kind of getting our name out there and giving us competitive exposure. Where did your tag Saint come from? And if I can ask why the capital T on top of that? Uh, <laughs> good question. Uh, I'll answer the first part, uh, or the second part first, and that I don't have a good reason other than I thought it looked pretty nice whenever I was punching in. It, it, I don't know, it looked a bit, uh, it just, it, it kind of broke the, uh, it's, it's it's an aesthetic thing. <laughs> That's pretty much all I got. Uh, but my tag saint actually. Oh my gosh, I got smacked. My uh, tag saint comes from my last name. It's a uh, my last name Saint Louis, and I, I experimented with a few tags before ultimately committing to saint. Uh, actually, no, I experimented with like one. I tried to. My favorite animal is a dolphin, mm -hmm. so I tried to be I tried to be dolphin. <laughs> dolphin. That just. That just flop, <laughs> but I don't know. It just kind of stuck. It's tough to change your tag and like, you're a monster. <laughs> Holy! It, it's tough to like really. Ooh, oh, you figured out my pat. You figured out my grab pattern. I'm gonna have to do it to you. I'm sorry. Are you? Oh yeah. You can break my shield. Oh no, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna wow. <laughs> hit wow, you with that. You really did. The axe. You really did. To me, huh? <laughs> mm -hmm. So that's what your tag came from. Yeah, it's a, it's a variation of uh, my last name. Oh no, I, I I can't let him do it. I can't let him do it. What? what? <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad we just discovered that. On recording too. <laughs> Wait, can you try to that? do that again? Uh, this character's jank. No, like I don't know. you instantly went into the... Yeah, I don't know what I did. Are you Dark I'm Samus or Sam... I'm just normal Samus. Oh. You know, I, I, this, is, this is something to consult the Samus Discord about. Sure. Like, that was that was pretty wild. All right. Anyway, Samus I'll, Discord. I'll go ahead and... What did I just do? You, you um instantly just teleported. Like it skipped your animation of getting on stage completely. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't grab the ledge. I just went straight from tether. I'm to... ready. I'm ready for the grimmer video on that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna go. All right. If anybody doesn't discover, if that was the first time that's ever been seen, and I can replicate it, it's called the Saint Tag. All right. Or it's called a Saint Get Up. <laughs> saint Get Up. I like called that. a Saint Get right. Up. Here, what made you want to start the scene at State? Well, honestly, I think it's because there were lots of players who were getting reasonably good within their respective group, and we wanted more competition. So we figured the best way to do that was to create an environment where um, we can pursue like more competitive venues uh, and can play better players, play different players, and really just kind of like expand our. Ooh, that was nice. Kind of expand our horizons in a competitive sense. I think that we were kind of getting bored of just beating each other up. <laughs> well, we wanted more, so we we figured that okay, having a dedicated competitive Smash Club. Um, would be the best way to do that. How long did it take you to grow Smash Dogs into relatively what we see now? Um, hmm. So obviously I was president for three years, so at least three years. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I guess I guess it came in phases. It really did. Uh, the first year was our, our philosophy was you know people aren't going to come to us. Unless we have some, unless they feel that there's stout competition and that there's like a reward for you know coming to Startable to compete, so we tried to travel to as many tournaments as possible and just meet all of the other Smashers in the region. And so I guess I would call that phase one or year one rather. Uh, we 
tried to go we tried to do as much outreach as possible um and i think we did a pretty good job bulldog smash one had 60 entrants or i think 60 entrants and when was um, that bulldog smash one you know <laughs> the date is on a shot glass that i have in my cabinet but i can't get up and get that <laughs> <laughs> no it's fine that was our very first tournament that we hosted and I think we did pretty well. Jenkins Jenkins showed up at that tournament. Like, I don't think anybody expected Jenkins to do as well as he did. And he just, he ran through that bracket with Captain Falcon. And this is funny as well. That was the first time that we met DJ Soundwaves. Mm -hmm. He was at that tournament. I'm so, no. Uh, ooh. Ooh! But, uh, ooh. <laughs> but DJ Soundwaves was at the tournament, and I think he got third. And... Man, Jenkins can tell you a better story about the first time that he had to fight DJ Soundwaves. It was, it was so ugly. Like we we're like, yeah, Jenkins is. He's a uh, he's made it really far in bracket, and he's about to fight this Pac-Man, and he just he just got mollywopped. It was so hard. It was so bad. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, back to the back to the main point of the question. Um, ooh, you might have just scared me off the ledge. Uh, second year was more kind of uh, taking hold of that following or that awareness that we built year one and doing something with it so we tried to host more events do a bit more outreach on campus and um really focus on what we did uh focus on like expanding our player base and improving our skill so after that first year we were like we have to get good because people want people want to play against us and so we really pushed uh getting better and Year three is, I think, where it all kind of came to a head, is that we had kind of a an external following. We had a pretty strong core player base. So then it was kind of our decision to ramp up the production value, uh, get some pot bonuses, start to reach out to the public a bit more and make it more of a, make it look more professional, I guess, so that people make uh, kind of like project ourselves as a legitimate and established uh smash scene in mississippi if, and the premier smash scene if in fact is what we were aiming for and uh so all that together i think um has brought smash dogs to where it is now i believe we went from like 15 people to upwards of like 70 <laughs> over over three years and I mean, our Facebook group is thriving. It's like 189 members, which is relatively small by some by some uh, Smash scenes. But I mean, for Startful Mississippi and Mississippi State University, that's I wouldn't say no like thought of as an esports hub or a Smash hub. I think I think we're doing pretty well, and I'm pretty optimistic about the future leadership as well. I think they kind of understand that as well. they understand that. What was your favorite tournament that you ever helped on with us? Uh, Jesus favorite, Christ. F favorite tournament that we uh, hosted as Smash Dogs? Yeah, in your opinion. That Ooh. you were there for. Ooh, oh man. Um, I w there's our, I would say our most successful tournament, and there's our favorite tournament, right? <laughs> yeah, you like that? Um, our most successful tournament was Bulldog Smash 5, because that just by far had the biggest attendance and the most, like, the most, the biggest draw. Um, but I would say my fa my personal favorite tournament was probably Stark Contrast, um, because that would I got a lot of creative freedom on that one uh, when working with our graphic designer uh, Borlax. Um, but I think the most fun part about that was the Heroes versus Villains crew battle. Um, but yeah, I think uh, I would say Stark Contrast just because it was. Oh, it was so like the creative it was just so it was so like artfully done we had announcement trailers we had like featured players in the highlight reel we had people from out of state uh it was just it was just a good event i, I really enjoyed it and it was it was also my last tournament that i that i had anything to do with so it was, it was special in that way um but i mean i don't think anybody's going to disagree that uh bulldog smash 5 was our biggest tournament Oh God! I just got done. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so my favorite tournament definitely, definitely Stark Contrast. 
Um, man, if if you haven't, if you anybody watching, if you haven't seen the uh, heroes and villains announcement trailer, they're so good. Shoutouts to Borderlands. All right, so I think I'm gonna run Falco. Uh, not because he has pro like longer survivability, but because I think he'd be better for getting out of the horde of Ganons because he has a huge second jump in side B, and he has multi hits, so I could probably trap multiple Ganons in a single uh, in a single combo or a single hit, and then ledge guard multiple Ganons at once. So that's my that's my philosophy. Um, we'll see. But I'm also real light, so I could die to like two hits. <laughs> all right. Let's... If I get if I get flame choked, I'll be screwed. Okay, they they all didn't downbeat. This is awful. Oh my gosh, we're at fifty percent. All right, so they're e eating each other alive right now. They're just oh, I'm so cheesy. Oh my gosh. Woo! They're just killing each other. This is amazing. I thought they're all on the same team. They're so random. Okay, I'm just running. <laughs> one just got up. One just killed the other one. This is amazing. Okay, yeah, this is this is brutal. They're killing each other and they're on the same team. I just I didn't die. I died. Okay. They're killing each other. What is this? Okay, uh, chill on the platform. Drop. Get away from again. Alright, I gotta I gotta get them all in the line. Oh no, this is so brutal. They're killing each other. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That almost killed me. That was that was rude. He just. Uh, uh, uh. Where am I? Okay, there I am. <laughs> Dude. All right. So I think I figured it out. No, I haven't. I, I totally lied. No, no. Get away from me, Cannon Horde. All right, so basically I'm just trying to run from them until they kill each other. They keep smacking each other up without smashes. I just got waxed. Oh my lord. Uh, if you want to know how many Ganon stocks I took. I took absolutely no Ganon stocks, actually. Did they kill each uh, themselves? <laughs> oh, yeah. Favorite tournament the group went to out of state. Okay, um... Honestly, it's going to be a toss-up between... Mm. Okay, Midwest Mayhem. No, 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 no question. Who all went to that? Oh, that was uh, that was myself, Borlax, Wewo, Madman, um, L, or no, Mile High, I think is what he uh, calls himself. But yeah, we we went, we took a train to Chicago actually, and went to Midwest Mayhem. Um, and that was so fun. Like we actually didn't do too terribly either. Um, uh, we I mean, well, we didn't make it out of pools, so. I guess there's that, <laughs> uh, but otherwise, yeah, it was so much fun. Uh, we just kind of bummed around in Chicago for the weekend. Didn't you get a picture with At, MKLeo? I did. That was that was such a fun tournament. So let me ask you this: How do you feel about this game in general? How do I feel about Ultimate in general? All right, so I would probably. We'll just use a basic 10 point scale, right? Uh, if 5 is completely average, I don't enjoy it as much as I thought I would, so I'd probably say 3. Um, it's just not where I feel it needs to be. Like, it's gonna, just the way that, um, just the way that, every, like, neutral pans out with everything being so safe, I don't think that's healthy for, uh, for competition like what you're gonna find is just people mastering gimmicks and it, like I just feel there's not very much to learn in this game you know beyond just uh, beyond just like being really solid and neutral like it's not technical in fact I feel it's even less technical than Smash 4 mm -hmm. and not that if the, if the goal of the game is to be very approachable then I certainly think they they hit the mark because anybody can pick up a character and play that character um, because it is very it is very new new player friendly um, but 
it's it can be kind of frustrating in that sense, especially when most of my experience is um, from quick play, which by the way, quick play sucks. Oh, almost got you. <laughs> do I think it's do I think it's going to be a terrible game forever? Probably not because we have patches coming in. Um, but at the moment, I like look at Olimar for example, right? Just super stale, boring to watch, and I think that kind of epitoma epitomizes the absolute worst parts of the game: is very spammable things, overly rewarding. Um, you you actually don't need to practice to play Olimar. You just like you can have a fundamental neutral and be able to play Olimar, because like most of the things, most of the buttons you push just play the game for you. Uh, I, if I could interject real quick, wouldn't you kind of think that was the same with Cloud? And uh, I know a lot of people complained about that as well with DLC in Smash Four. Don't you well, think? Well, I think that was, was wrong. That was kind of Cloud. I, I would. I think I kind of would. Or I think I would kind of liken that to Cloud. So, if the reason Cloud was really, really good in Smash Four was because he had nothing, he, everything was safe. He had the best movement. Um, he had really good combos. He just very oppressive. Like you could get off so many moves just for free. Absolutely with Cloud. Then, if Bayonetta was broken in that game, then Cloud was OP. But nobody's playing Bayonetta in this game. Everybody's playing Cloud because all of the characters have ridiculous frame data uh, to the degree that you can just jump neutral air, jump neutral air, jump back air. Everything's safe on shield, smash attacks are safe. Um, you have super oppressive aerials. Um, and I think that just can kind of be annoying to play against uh and yeah i just i think that i think that there needs to be more risk involved with with throwing out moves uh to really make this game uh be as be as reward be be rewarding right like it's it seems to be all reward and no risk if that makes sense uh, who is the hype? Who is when you watch when you were there? Who is the hypest carrot person to watch in all of Smash Dogs, in your opinion? Oh, easy, me. <laughs> Just kidding. No, uh, most fun person to watch, probably. I gotta give it to either. I gotta give it to Mies or Soundwaves. Um, although I will say Vault could be pretty hype as well, just because of how wacky his tech is. Oh, that was pretty nice. Uh, like he's he's a very technically skilled player, but I think as far as uh, understanding the game and knowing like how risky some of the options somebody might take are probably Mies, just because he does things no one else, like no one else has the balls to do. Um, but DJ DJ Soundwaves is just super flashy. Like you can't, like, especially in Smash Four. Uh, like those edge guards are always the cl are always so clean. Don't roll. Woo! Woo! <laughs> no, the booty. Uh, I'd probably say my most fun person to watch probably me. Is like he doesn't just he doesn't just beat you. He just he absolutely destroys you. <laughs> unless he's fight. Unless he's. Uh, I will I will say that I was definitely a demon for me in bracket. So our the sets my sets versus me's weren't really conducive of that but go watch him fight borlax go watch him fight uh sass chan go watch him fight uh even jenkins sometimes just an absolute monster this is kind of a guess on how well you know the smash dogs at msu channel okay and don't pull it up okay all right all right i want you to name what you think the top five most videos on that channel are Ooh, okay. I actually might know the. I'm actually, actually might know this. All right, so in, there was a highlight. Go ahead and go. Go ahead and do an order. Too. In, in order, okay. Um, hype video for Bulldog Smash Five. Um, As most viewed or least. No, most viewed. Oh no, 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 no. All right, so hype video for Bulldog Smash Five. Um, the the uh, Bulldog Board Town Brawl, Jake, Jake trailer, um, villains, heroes. And then um, OKZ's versus versus Kip. So you saying that OKZ versus Kip is the least feed of the five? Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you mind pausing? And let me tell you. <laughs> Cause I <didn't laughs> yeah. Uh, let's get neutral. Okay, we're at neutral. All right, let me tell you. The All top right. five 
in order from least viewed to most viewed is number five it's okay tiger plot armor is a broken mechanic oh the meme the no. meme <laughs> i forgot about that one number four is bulldog smash five singles kit versus okay zz okay i was close number three is psych board town brawl five announcement trailer okay that's the mewtwo one number two is heroes a stark contrast yes and number one is villains stark contrast wow okay cool cool no okay i didn't realize that um the meme one was up there but yeah it, uh the man if you if you haven't seen heroes or villains those trailers are so good uh like and even even any of the board town brawl announcement trailers are good um I'm so glad Borlax was able to put those together. They, they just look so good. <laughs> Ooh, good ledge guard. But... No! You're <laughs> you saw you're it coming! You saw you're it coming! You're a monster! In the wall, in the, like, you're not going to see a Bowser win Evo Genesis, more than likely. Because the top players will uh, destroy it. See my, see my Bowser. What? It that has strong armor! Yes, it does. I kicked you! Every, oh, that's... Okay, his tilt and his smash attacks... And oh my gosh, stuff. you were charging it. <laughs> I've actually never seen that happen. I, can, I forgot you can just do that. Okay. So I'll go ahead and say this. this uh, I've been enjoying commentating with you, Saint. And if there's anything you want to plug, do it now. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, it's been a pleasure commentating with you, uh, Natty Light. Are you going by Natty Light full time now? Basically, oh. at least with the tag, yeah. Got you. All right, so that... That is that is a pretty sweet tag. Uh, so Natty Light slash BB Player, uh, it's been a pleasure. I've really enjoyed uh, being interviewed by you. I think it's uh, it's really good to kind of like this whole this, this whole idea for these interviews are great because I think that the people watching them are going to really get a better understanding of Smash Dogs, maybe how it came to be, uh, what its what its intended purpose is, and kind of just an understanding for the Mississippi State Smash community in general. I think that there's a lot of good coming from there. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's some real strong players and they're getting better. Uh, they're getting better every semester. So at, at some point I would hope to see Smash Dogs as a real formidable threat in the Southeast and Mississippi State being the premier Smash scene of Mississippi. I think that would be really, really cool. And there's a lot to be proud of there from everybody who's involved. Um, and again, the intent of Smash Dogs is always to be a community and a place where people don't only, don't only feel like they can go, but a place where they feel like they can belong. And it makes them better people, both professional and socially for that, because there's like-minded individuals, and they're all focused on achieving something or bettering themselves, which I feel is the spirit of competition, ultimately, especially in Smash. So that's kind of a soapbox spiel as far as Smash Dogs is concerned. Uh, a little bit of where I am now since moving on from Smash Dogs, I've picked up a job in Maryland, so I regularly attend Xanadu and The Grind. So look for me on stream every now and then. I'm not really active on, on Twitch or anything, but you can follow me at SSB underscore Saint. I just mostly shitpost, so don't expect too much. However, uh, one thing that I do like to do that i feel is unique to my account is that if you follow me and message me uh, a request i will design you a pair of shoes fashioned after your favorite smash character i've done it for several players now uh, i've gotten a zss pair of shoes done for jenkins which he actually ordered and they look super clean so if you're trying to up your style game as a as a smasher uh hit me up i'd be more than willing to give you some pointers and design you a pair of fresh kicks and yeah i mean look out look out for me on twitter find me at xanadu and good luck to smash dogs and again bb player thank you so much for having me on i really hope uh really hope you're able to continue doing this with other smash dogs both present and former i think this is a really good idea all right thank you appreciate it absolutely